Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. We wanted to introduce you to one of our latest pendulums. It is the Jed pendulum. The word Jed is a, an Egyptian word um, signaling um, the pillar that was called Jed. And this pillar was connected to, um, it has different meanings. It is a very classical, very well-known um, structure that is found in many temples, in many um carvings, hieroglyphs in uh, Egypt. It was also um, made a little amulet, a protector, um, and it has um, the broad sense of the meaning of the Jed is a pillar of stability, prosperity, fertility, sovereignty. Um, it was also considered the backbone of Osiris, 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 the god of the underworld, the god of the dead, also called the god of nature and the 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 vegetables, the the, the plant kingdom. Uh, Osiris was honored, um, you know, as being one of the the rulers of agriculture, and this was really very important. And um, there were many ceremonies celebrated at the beginning of the agricultural year, uh, which was around the month of uh, September, when we actually created, you know, the first um, sketch or the first drawing of this uh, pendulum. Uh, so everything around the creation of the jet pendulum of Pura Presencia has been really synchronistic and coming into place at the exact time mirroring um, information that we were gathering. So it was really very incredible. This pendulum um, has been created with different intentions. Firstly, of course, we are honoring um, the ancient classical Egyptian shapes that have been used in dowsing, in classical dowsing, to create the most classical pendulums. So in classical dowsing, um, you will have the Osiris pendulums, the Isis pendulums, the Karnak pendulums, also called Egyptian pendulums, or the Thot, Thot pendulum. Uh, so there is already in dowsing, in classical dowsing, um, a long tradition of, of uh, following the patterns of the Egyptian um, objects that were found in tombs, in temples, um, giving us the impression that the builders were using pendulums, maybe to balance certain angles or to analyze the vibrations emitted by the structures that they were building. And let's not forget that the Egyptian culture, the ancient Egyptian culture, was master in the art science of vibration. So they knew very well how to create structures that would emit and vi vibrate and radiate a certain particular series of frequencies, not only for the temple and the building in, in terms of an external structure, but the building and the temple was a reflection of the internal structure, which was more important. So the inner world was also... Um, very connected to the outer world in terms of the temples. And so the use of pendulums and the use of specific vibrations and radiations in the temples, in the hieroglyphs, uh, was also part of this internal communication between the inner world and the outer world. And always having in mind balance, beauty, harmony. I'm talking about the pure ancient Egyptian culture, not the one that later on got infiltrated, such as, you know, in all other cultures in the world where sadly enough, beautiful intentions and beautiful civilizations got infiltrated by darkness and then everything got twisted. Even the hieroglyphs got smashed, the geometries got broken, inverted, perverted, corrupted. Um, so we've created this pendulum with the intention of um, 
working in different ways. This pendulum can be used as an as a harmonizer object, so you can place it anywhere in your living environment in which you want to to create a harmony because this pendulum, as you will see in the manual, this uh, object, the jet, is balancing the electromagnetic um, uh, structure of everything uh, that you are focusing the jet upon. So if you are working with yourself, it's going to help you balance the cosmotelluric energies within you. The jet is also going to be um, a very good tool to be working with your spine um, on an energy level. And this we are going to be drawing on from ancient traditions connected to Osiris and the myth of Isis, Osiris, and the brother of Osiris, Set, who killed Osiris and dismembered Osiris in 14 pieces, which later needed to be gathered by the wife of Osiris, Isis, and with her magic, um, and we believe with the Jed, that is another, you know, secret, we believe with the Jed, she kind of managed to reunite Osiris and complete him. And this mythology or this legend um, can be also be understood in terms of the story of a soul that incarnates from the higher planes into the world of matter, matter being the world of Set, the brother, the materialistic one, the envious one, and how the soul gets fragmented in touch with matter and the journey of the hero towards the resurrection would be to gather all the pieces and bring them together. And how interesting that Isis, the representation of the Divine Mother, the Great Mother, who is really the ground of existence that is helping us to remember, not only remember who we were prior to incarnate, to incarnating, but she remembers, puts together the members of Osiris. She puts together the fragments of our soul back in oneness, in unity. The jet is also a symbol of oneness, unity. It's a symbol of the Father in terms of the Godhead. It's a very solar symbol. If you look at the jet, it has the shape of an eye, like me, me, I, one, I am, one, I am, that I am. Um, so there is a lot of work that we can do with this pendulum in terms of helping us um, remember, helping us reconnect the fragments, helping us work through the spine um, because um, the jet is also associated to the backbone the spine of Osiris and raising the Jed, standing up from being fallen, having forgotten who we are, having fallen prey to the negativity, to the world of illusions, the temptations, the poisons of the mind, and then having to stand up, unify ourselves, align ourselves heaven and earth, re-establish perfect cosmotelluric balance within us and then is when we can fulfill our destiny. The jet is also a pendulum to help us empower our destiny, empower our goals, give us strength, focus, um, stamina. Um, it is a very, of course, stable and, and, and it's a symbol of prosperity, the harvesting of the crops and the new year in the agricultural um, times and in our life, the, 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 the harvesting of our work, our efforts, our ideas, the projects that we have. So this shape is a very, very rich in symbology and we can do many things with the pendulum. But in this manual, which, which has, I think, 70 pages, it's in English, in PDF, and it comes with a dowsing sheet chart in PDF, also in English, with um, the structure of the spine so that we can work with the spine because in the spine we find everything um, that we really need to clear 
that we need we need to unblock in order for the vital life force you can call it kundalini energy or you can call it light uh, the light of our consciousness uh, that needs to rise up again from the dense matter into the spiritual realms into our heavens so that we can reawaken to our true nature as spiritual beings incarnated in human form. So there's many things that can be done with this pendulum. Um, I'm sure we will be discovering more um, things once we all start working with the jet and new ideas come and we just do it in a different way. You know how pendulums work. We can create a series of pendulums with a series of intentions, but then suddenly we try it in a different way and we obtain new, new results, new possibilities. And this is the magic uh, and the, you know, the greatness of dowsing that we can do many things in different ways and uh, find out new meanings, new purposes and new possibilities. So I hope you are interested by this creation. It's by Pura Presencia. It can be attuned to the, to the owner of the pendulum. So if you want that, when you purchase the pendulum, just uh, write your name and um, your name, surname, name and your date of birth and we will attune the pendulum to you. And I hope you really like this new creation. Thank you very much. Bye. Bye.